now probably one of the biggest running back dominoes has officially fallen uh, in free agency. Saquon Barkley, he is signing with the Philadelphia Eagles. So he is staying right there in the NFC East. It was said that there was a lot of teams that were serious suitors. Uh, for Saquon Barkley but certainly over the past couple of days the Philadelphia Eagles they have been a name them and the Houston Texans have been two names of teams that have really ramped up negotiations and interest when it came to Saquon Barkley but apparently there was an article that came out maybe not even an hour ago that said that the Eagles were just willing to offer just a bit more for Saquon Barkley than uh, the Houston Texans were so we'll see the official numbers in quite a little in a little bit but Regardless of what they are, Saquon Barkley is headed to Philly. And that's going to be a real nice pickup for them. Like, you think about this. Philly, with their run game, with their offensive line. Now, that offensive line is going to be a little bit different now. Because Jason Kelsey, he's retiring. Unless he saw that they signed Saquon Barkley, he's like, you know what? I think I want to change my mind. So, we'll see what happens with that. Because, you know, some players, they retire, but then they're still thinking about it. They're like, mm, you know what? Let me do reverse course. So, we'll see. But their offensive line is known to be a really good one, especially when it comes to run blocking. And when you think about Saquon Barkley, how dynamic he was behind a terrible offensive line with the New York Giants. But now he gets to go to a much better offensive line with the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, with Saquon Barkley, something that has been said a lot, I even said it myself without even realizing that Saquon Barkley is injury prone. But almost feel like when you actually look at Saquon Barkley, and his numbers, the amount of games that he's played in the versus the amount of games that he's missed. He has certainly missed some time with injury, but it almost feels like the injuries may be a little bit overblown. Like, let, let, let's take a look real quick. So in 2018, he played 16 games, started 16 games. In 2019, he missed three games because he only uh, started and played in 13 games. In 2020, he missed 14 games because that's when he only played two games that year. So that was a big injury year for him. Then in 2021, he only missed three games. In 2022, he played in all 16 games. Uh, in 2023, he missed three games. because That's when he went to the 17-game schedule. So with Saquon Barkley, um, he, has, he, he missed, of course, most of that one season in 2020. But beyond, besides that, he's only missed like a couple of games each year. So obviously you want him for the long haul. You want him out there every single game. But I feel like when he gets that injury prone label, label, excuse me, uh, it may be a bit overblown. And I guess that's how Philly felt about it since uh, they signed him and, and he's going to get, I'm sure it's going to be some big money. Let me just double check to see if any details of this deal came out yet. Nothing yet. Nothing yet. But probably by the time you see this video, then the details will certainly have come out. Now, uh, you think about that offense and the potential uh, of that offense. Oh, there we go. It's a three-year, 37 point, let me see, 37.75 mil. Wow. Oh, my goodness. He got, he got a lot of money. So, sorry, 37.75 divided by three. That's 12.58 per year. So, a little, a little over 12 mil per year. And again, that those are the numbers that was in that report. It said that Texans were willing to pay 11 mil, uh, but the Eagles were willing to pay 12 mil. So there was about that one million dollar difference, and that'll do it every time. So as a running back, as the person that they're bidding for, especially when it's two teams that are bidding, you're gonna go with the highest bidder, and you can increase your chances of getting any more, even more money by making that highest bidder bid even higher because they want to secure it, they want to seal the deal, they want this thing to become official. So that's apparently what the Eagles did. Wow. Um, now, you think about Philadelphia's offense, Jalen Hurts, obviously, and hopefully he can have a bounce back year. Um, but you got Jalen Hurts, you got A.J. Brown, you got uh, Devontae Smith, and now you got Saquon Barkley. You add him to all of that. And see, the thing about Philly, what I really liked about Philly, um, they find a way to get all their weapons involved. They find a way to get everybody involved. Everybody is a problem. So that makes them that much bigger of a problem for the Cowboys, for the Commanders. <laughs> even though, I mean, everybody's a problem for the Commanders uh, and also for the Giants as well. So this should be fun. This should be fun. I know a lot of other fan bases were hoping that Saquon Barkley would go to their team. But, yeah, that's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes.